Uh, my name is Susie Kapinski, and I am a union iron worker apprentice right now, second period apprentice, and I've lived in Fullerton for pretty much my entire life. And the Fullerton Republican Women Federated, I have been in that club for, I don't want to say 20 years, but I think 20 years, and I've served in various different positions, including president of that club, and I've just helped out with different campaigns. I just get frustrated. And instead of always getting frustrated, I thought, you know what? Instead of just being mad, I'm just gonna try to do something. Cause I don't, I don't like being discouraged and mad. I'm trying to be a positive person. And I've been involved in the background as a volunteer and a supporter. And I figured, you know what? Why not now? That's like ask me, which one of your five kids do you love the most? <laughs> I am fortunate because I had a wonderful childhood growing up over off of uh, Euclid and Rosecrans up there, right by Grissom Park. So I had basically just the most idyllic childhood. And then it went into an awesome adolescence and teenagers and adult, and it was all here in Fullerton. So I love Fullerton because for me, it's just, it's always been awesome. And we don't even have to try, it just is. Anybody who's driven Fullerton will tell you the roads. And I mean, the potholes, we can almost like just diagram the potholes. And there's just so many high density projects that are going in. And one of their main concerns is the traffic and the parking. I went to a meeting, I think it was last week, and the citizens were just like, we just want there to be parking. We cannot park on our streets. And now you're gonna add this many more residents. Well, as of today, I have raised a whopping $450 outside of my family. You know, my mom, uh, maybe if I add her, I could say $1,400. <laughs> the proper role of city council, I think, is to kind of help in the negotiating with the unions, the, the public unions, because I'm part of a private union, but the public unions approve different zoning changes. Just, I think it should be somewhat minimal, like in a supporting role. And I would like to think that they take in the concerns of the citizens that speak. I don't know if that they always do. I think when you stop listening, you, you miss out on a lot and you might miss the one thing that would change your mind. I do prefer at large. I think there might be some districts that feel that they're not represented, but I think that if you do district voting, then it'll be harder to come to agreements because each specific district is only going to be voting in their best interest, their specific district's best interest. And I think at an at-large, you take into consideration what's best for the whole city. I think there is a, there should be a compromise where Unless Fullerton or whoever wants to buy the land at a fair market value from the owners, um, I think they should be able to develop it. They've made concessions like more open space instead of as many houses and uh, trails and, and stuff like that. Right now it's just this fenced off area that you can maybe walk on every now and then, but I would like something to be done with it. Let them develop it but in a responsible way. I remember way back when being dropped off in front of the Fox Theater on a Saturday afternoon to watch the movie. I wish it were happening quicker and it didn't cost as much, but restorations some, sometimes cost more than new construction. I mean, I want it fixed and I, I don't know if where they're going to find the money, but like I said, I would look into what other cities do to preserve their, and to get the revenue to preserve their historical landmarks. I don't know what the government requires of us, of cities in general, but I would basically, with whatever is a requirement, I would want to adhere to that. If we're way below it, then look into getting on the right track. And if we've already met it, then cool. There's something that I have been thinking about, and I don't know if it's been addressed or not, about the homeless problem is 
My husband's a veteran and we use the VA for certain services. And have we reached out to the VA to see if we can connect them with our, if just, if we could help just the homeless vets within Fullerton and like let the VA help with that? I mean, have we thought about doing that? So that's one thing I'm thinking, you know, that's not going to fix the homeless problem, but that might alleviate some of it if we get the VA to take care of who they need to be taken care of. That's just such a tragic incident. And I don't want that to be kind of be a black eye on Fullerton forever, but it, it's, it made national news. And it still pops up when you talk about police brutality. And I think we really tried to take care of it. And we need to give our police officers some credit. Personally, I think they're doing okay because they did do it, you know, cleaned house a little bit. They got a new police chief and the homeless liaison officers and they're, they're trying, they're making a concerted effort. I think they're getting training on how to deal with mental illness. Growing up in Fullerton and hanging out in downtown Fullerton when it wasn't as nice as it is now, when there were fewer bars, but they were way seedier. Um, you know, I think it's great now. People from the Inland Empire and Costa Mesa, they all know about downtown, they all know about downtown Fullerton. And with Uber, it's a lot safer. We don't need it to be necessarily everything in Fullerton, family friendly all the time. Because then, what fun is that? I just think that Fullerton needs a new perspective from somebody who just cares about Fullerton. I have no political aspirations. I just want to do the best. I have no business endeavors that will benefit from me. I have, it's just, I just love Fullerton. It's like, it, I don't like the direction it's going. And I like, I think that if it continues going the direction it seems to be going, it won't be the same Fullerton that I grew up loving. And I want my kids, to, you know, in 20 years to say, yeah, I grew up in Fullerton, that's why I'm still here, because it's an awesome city. But it's not gonna be that awesome city if um, everything keeps building up. It's just gonna be another big city. And it won't be Fullerton anymore.